Hello, my name is Hei Chong. Today I will be presenting a research about increasing accuracy of species distribution model. This is a table of contents, and I will begin the presentation. SDM, short for species distribution model, is a highly uh, useful model in the sense that it has an ability to process quantitative evaluation of species distribution. However, despite its high utilization, uh, due to the issue of uncertainty, the use of SDM is kind of limited. For this reason, a lot of various studies are being conducted uh, to overcome this limitation, and above all, methodologies uh, focusing on reducing low performance of single SDM came out to be a very important issue. Uh, more specifically, it can be divided into two concepts, minimizing the range of uncertainty by model and overlaying results by model. Uh, for the first one, it can be explained by methodologies focusing on selecting threshold uh, for binary transformation. And for the second one, it can be explained by consensual predictions among SDMs. Uh, in this research, I have tried to suggest a new uh, methodology that can increase accuracy of species distribution uh, considering these two concepts and also focusing on both presence and absence accuracy. From now on, I will explain more specifically about the uh, methods I have used to achieve my study goal. So for the first one, minimizing the range of uncertainty by model, I have applied two new concepts, uh, supervised and unsupervised classification. Unsupervised classification is a traditional methodology that a threshold is selected by, automatically selected by the model system. Whereas supervised classification is a new methodology I have used uh, by using verification data, and for this case, vegetation map. So it is expected to reflect um, reality situation. For overlaying results by model, I have preceded this ensemble process by just simply overlaying the results. It is known that uh, weighting, uh, putting weights for individual models can achieve more successful results when the researcher can actually predict the overall trends of the expected results. However, uh, since SDM is rolled by probability, I have decided not to apply weights, but rather just simply overlay the results. Uh, after applying a new methodology of my own, in order to verify its accuracy, I have conducted a comparison of presence and absence accuracy between two methodologies. Uh, it might look kind of complicated, but actually it is a very simple theory. I have extracted, I, I have made two frames for presence distribution and absence dis distribution of target species from vegetation map. So for example, for presence accuracy, uh, I have extracted both presence distribution based on the frame that I, I have extracted. And since SDM came out with uh, probability of appearance, um, the methodology with more points of, with high probability can be interpreted as the methodology that shows more accurate for presence accuracy. Uh, the same theory can be applied for the absence accuracy as well. So for absence accuracy in this case, the, more, the methodology with more points with low probability can be interpreted as the methodology that shows more accurate uh, absence accuracy for this case. Uh, since this research is an ongoing uh, project, I am planning to proceed computer programming so that I can increase the number of iterations. And after all, that can act I am expecting that it can um, overcome the issue of probability, and after that, I am planning to do trend analysis and methodology interpretation. Thank you for listening.